the um, uh, valves uh, have multiple uh, components. So uh, whether we're talking about the uh, aortic valve or the mitral valve, these are the two uh, valves on the left side of the heart, the valves themselves sit in a um, skeleton within the heart, uh, if you will, or sits within a structure uh, within the heart. So the area that the valve sits in uh, is called the annulus. Um, the mitral valve has its annulus. This is a ring that the uh, valve uh, structure is attached to. Um, and the uh, significance of this, for instance, is that uh, if this annulus, if the heart enlarges, the annulus stretches out. Uh, and when that happens, the leaflets can actually pull apart and not close uh, adequately, uh, resulting in every time the heart squeezes, now some of the blood goes backwards where it came from, as well as go, going forward. Uh, the same can be said of the uh, aortic annulus. So the aortic valve sits in its skeleton or its annulus, uh, and now if the aorta, or the main bl blood vessel that leaves the heart, forms an aneurysm and enlarges, it can actually pull the uh, aortic valve leaflets apart, uh, and again cause this leakage of, of uh, blood going backwards. So. Uh, one of the common causes of uh, leaky heart valves is an enlargement of the annulus related to another abnormality. An abnormality that enlarges the heart can enlarge the mitral annulus. An abnormality that enlarges the aorta can cause aortic uh, uh, insufficiency or leakage of the aortic valve related to that annulus being pulled apart.